Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking uh, for more patches for the RV500 and here today I am with a new patch. You heard that in the opening and I call that Comet Trails. We're going to get started just with an empty patch. Uh, I used the upper patches in the 90s, so you're going to want to do bank up and down until you reach like one of your empty patches. In my case 98 is empty and we're going to use this in dual mode. So. You choose a patch by basically uh, bank using two buttons at once, and then you go ahead and just engage one of the foot switches here, and you should get to an empty patch. An empty patch usually just has two rooms in both settings, and by default, this runs either A or B. It doesn't run A and B together. For this patch to work, you're gonna want to have the RV500 in A and B simultaneous mode, and in order to do that, you want to just go ahead and press the edit button, and then you want to scroll down to the system, open up the system menu, and you'll go down and there will be a setting for S, uh, FSW mode, which is foot switch mode. And you want to have that set to A slash B simul. And that'll let you run A and B together. And then exit out of that. And you want to go into uh, the bank control and make sure that the connection is set in series. So A will feed into B. Once you have that set up into the simultaneous mode, you'll want to go ahead and choose the space echo for the first algorithm. So you can either choose A and B here. Um, so we're going to go and choose A and go to the space echo set. Once you have the space echo selected and you have it set to 1800 milliseconds or sometime around there, you want to press the edit button and then you want to go to patch. And now we're editing the space echo and you want to go down and set intensity to 50. Intensity is the amount of repeats, it's basically your feedback. You're gonna to wanna to set the echo volume up to 100. So 100 there. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the head selection and choose two plus three. Two plus three gives you the uh, later heads, which gives you the most delay time. You want to double check that it didn't change the repeat rate, and in this case it did. So you want to switch that back to 1800 milliseconds after you've chosen the 2 plus 3s. In some cases that just happens. And in then treble, you want that to negative 12, because we're going to want to roll off some of the high end. And then you want to scroll down until you reach the mod depth, and you're going to want to set mod depth to 70. And the mod rate can stay by the default, 50. Keep scrolling down. Uh, most of these settings should be just normal. And then you'll get to where it says reverb. And by default, the reverb should be turned off for this. Uh, you can check that. Where is it? It's in the effect level. Make sure that's zero. We're not going to be using the built-in Space Echo Spring Reverb. We're going to be using Fast Decay. Once that's done, exit out. Give that a quick listen. And there we go, we have a multi-head space echo, and it sounds really cool so far, but we're not done yet. So now what you're going to want to do is scroll down, or just push down until B is highlighted, which is uh, effect B. And let's engage B, so B is now turned on. And we want to switch this over to Fast Decay. Now that we're on Fast Decay, and B is highlighted, you can press edit. Now we're editing B and then just go into the patch again. And we're now set at the delay portion. So you want to scroll all the way up. Uh, it's just because of where we were. So make sure you're in the reverb section. Uh, set the time to 10 seconds. 
make sure it's the fast decay and we're not messing with the space echo. And with pre-delay 50 is fun. We want to set the decay all the way to 10. We're going to make it very ambient. And so for this, you want to have 70 on the effect level. So holding down the uh, time switch lets you jump by 10 to 100 increments, depending on what you're setting. So if you just hold it, just use it normally, it goes by one increment. But if you hold it down, it'll go 10 increments on the effect level, uh, smaller levels like that. So that's kind of neat to jump to things. And I believe we don't want to set anything else except going down until you get to the density. Density needs to be set to 10. Scroll down and choose the mod depth. And the mod depth needs to be 60 in this case. And then the mod rate can stay at the default 50. And that's it. And then just uh, exit out. Make sure both uh, A and B are enabled. And you should get that opening um, reverb. We had Comet Trails. Anyway, I think that sounds lovely. I know the RV500 does get some bad rap for not sounding very good compared to its contemporaries like the Big Sky or the Space, uh, but I believe it sounds great. I think it gets its bad rap in the fact that the built-in um, presets are just, they're, they're honestly garbage. They just don't display what this unit can do. This unit's incredibly powerful because you can run two reverb algorithms together. Plus you have a delay on each reverb and you have that awesome space echo.